Hey there! Did my last video trigger any issues for you? I hope not, but if it did, let me rewind. Hi, I'm Serena, founder of Trinicome.com, one of the longest running Caribbean food blogs out there on the internet. Where else are you going to find a Caribbean food blog, right? So in my last video, I talked about the three pillars of Trini Gourmet. Presentation, adventure, <laughs> local, or we can call it PAM. <laughs> yeah. So the wonderful thing about these things is that they're free. They're absolutely free to explore, especially now if you're on the internet, which you obviously are if you're watching this, you can Google any of them and get a world of information that wouldn't have been possible, you know, even 10 years ago. And so I think that you shouldn't be too intimidated by any of the pillars. The entry cost is minimal. And I'm seeing this as someone who, you know, manages the household, manages the household budget for my mother and me, and keeps to a food budget of about a thousand TT a month. Sometimes I go over, but it's not usually by more than 200. So it's definitely doable to try new um, recipes, to, um, to explore and to present in new and creative ways and to do so on a tight budget. I'm very much living in the real world, so that's how I know that my outlook and my suggestions can definitely work for you as well. And the most important thing that I can say is to keep an open mindset. If you don't have an open mindset, it's going to be hard. And that's one of the reasons why adventure is one of the pillars, because like once again, it comes to exploring global cuisine. The more cuisines, the more recipes that you have in your mental database, the easier it is to prepare food on a budget. Because I'm going to be talking about budget. Times are tight, I know, trust me. I've had more than a few of you ask me about budget meals and cooking on a budget. The more foods that you can enjoy from an international repertoire, the easier it is when your cupboard and your pantry and your fridge reach water season levels. If you only have three things left, trust me, you're going to be able to put together a meal from them. But you need to have that repertoire and that repertoire can only come with an open mindset. An open mindset, a love of food, a love of adventure, that's going to just open the three pillars up for you. And in my next video, I'm going to be preparing a cheat sheet and an interview with one of my favorite chefs who's going to be sharing more about that with you. So stay tuned. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Bye.